force. In behind them is Omega Guinness. Back on the inside is Champagne Colour, then Gaia Force. That one out wide is Peptide Nile. Well back King's Sword, making up some ground. Tugano Beauty, Mick Fire. Work to do Red Lazelle, Alpha Mum. And well back in the field is Sekihu. They get to the 400 metre mark, and at the moment it's still. Uh, Don Frankie on the inside. Here comes Peptide Nile and Wilson Tesoro in the middle. Gaia Force starting to make up ground and starting to run on at the back is Tugano Beauty. They've got to get to Peptide Nile in front. It's going to be an upset if Peptide Nile stays there. Peptide Nile's in front. They're not going to get there at the moment. Starting to shorten stride. Peptide Nile. Peptide Nile, a 60 to 1 shot, takes out the February stakes. Gaia Force in for second. Tight Ultimo for Prieto Savache, 800 metros, y comienzan a girar la curva final. Wild Coast mantiene la delantera, segunda Yonófera, tercero por fuera el analista, cuarto Flying Hearts, quinto Wentru, sexto Otman, en el séptimo Niquín, septavo Le Coppers, noveno Tommy Shelby, décima Quimera Ideal, están en tierra derecha, buscando la línea exterior Wild Coast, sigue en el primer lugar, segunda Yonófera, está a corta distancia, Yonófera primer lugar, segundo Wild Coast, tercero por el centro Wentru, cuarto Flying Hearts, quinto el analista, sexto siga Tommy Shelby, Quimera Ideal busca por el lado interior, por fuera y Onofera en la delantera, en los últimos 250 metros, Fratelli Lavita cortó distancia por el centro, por, viene atropellando Mechul, Fratelli Lavita pasa al primer lugar, segundo se ubica Quimera Ideal por el lado interior, esta corta distancia, tercero Mechul mantiene la delantera, Fratelli Lavita, últimos metros, mantiene medio cuerpo de ventaja, gana Fratelli Lavita, segundo Quimera Ideal, tercero medio Mechul, cuarto... El número 9, Hawaiian Love, mantiene cuerpo de ventaja sobre el 11 Olímpica Hit que la busca por el lado exterior, lo propio hace junto a los palos, L12, Garota Lob, vuelcan el codo las yeguas del gran premio, creadores, están en la recta final, 550 metros para el disco, se mantiene como puntera, L9, Hawaiian Lob, mantiene pequeña ventaja sobre el 12, Garota Lob, que la iguala por el lado exterior, viene cargando a media cancha, el 6, Abogada Brava, dejan atrás los últimos 400 metros, lucha intensa en la vanguardia, el 12, Garota Lob, no se entrega por dentro el 9, Hawaiian Lob, abierta el 6, Abogada Brava, y se viene Viene filtrando el 1, Cheva Sora. Últimos 100 metros de carrera. El 9 por dentro, abierta el 1. Últimos 50 metros de carrera. El 1. Second last. And Rouge Lenage is at the tail. 600 meter mark goes past them as they swing for home. And on the inside, it's Conkshell. Leads out from Fierce Sympathy to the inside. Stunning Rose, the outer Fierce Pride. Under pressure is Sound Vivace. Looking for an out is in Braille. And Mask Diva is held up for a run. Cast get past Doe Eyes. And running on down the outside, 10 Happy Rose. Fierce Pride, 10 Happy Rose. Now Embrail is out. Mask Diva could not get out. Swings back to the inside and is in trouble. Hitting the load is 10 Happy Rose. What a major boil over this is going to be. 10 Happy Rose wins out. Running second. Oh, that's tight. Maybe. Fierce Pride to the inside. Mask Diva finally oh, got out. Them just off the speed. Then Gaia Force, wider out, Voyage Bubble. In between runners, Parallel Vision, wider out, down on Scorpion. Then Soul Rush, back to the inside. Losing ground is Elton Burrows. Namur is starting to pick up. Catedral well back, well back in the run. Air Lot on our Setter Foss, Redmond Raven, Corte Petiteur. They approach the 400 meter mark, and it's still Wynn Carnelian starting to get out now and trying to surge its way through his romantic warrior and running on Voyage Bubble. And in between runners is Estella Veloce, and here comes Namur. Namur comes up, but starting to sprint out his romantic warrior. Namur running on Soul Rush. It's still Romantic Warrior. Romantic Warrior, he's hanging on. Oh, he's a star. Romantic Warrior takes out another group one. Namur second, Soul Rush third, Gaia Force fourth. What a champion. There every step of the way, Tizzy in the sky, all out. And now Idiomatic starts to come after, randomized. Idiomatic doing it effortlessly on the outside of Randomized, who will try to fend her off. Pretty Mischievous is down on the inside. Raging Sea swings deepest of all. They're at the top of the stretch, and Pretty Mischievous coming after Randomized. On the outside, Idiomatic has a lot of work to do. Randomized digging in. Idiomatic all out. Soul of an Angel has come through on the inside. A 16th to go. Joel Rosario begging Randomized on the inside of Idiomatic. An absolute thriller. Here it is.
randomized and idiomatic in a dramatic photo finish in the, the far turn. Philo de Ariana is next. Arzak has eight lengths to make up, rounding the far turn. In front of No Name Mets, Mischief Magic, they went 21 and 1 for the opening quarter. And Thin White Duke is at the back of the field. They have to catch Cogburn, who turns for home, loaded with a three length advantage. He's running powerfully. Coppola is racing in second. A wall of horses trying to get through, including Star of Mystery. And on the outside, Arzak is finding his best stride. Center of the course, Mischief Magic. But Cogburn dominates the Jiper. Wins by four and a half. It's a three-way photo for second, including Arzak, Star of Mystery, and Coppola. Castle Chaos at the rail, post time between those two and Blazing Sevens Trails. They come to the quarter pole. National Treasure trying to fend off this bid and he's done it. He's opened up three. National Treasure in the blink of an eye has opened up a five length advantage with a furlong left to go. Wide Barrio wanders out in the center of the racetrack. Castle Chaos and post time. It's a one horse race. National Treasure and Flavian Pratt making short work of the the competition devastating them in the Hillendale Metropolitan Handicap. It was a photo for second between post time and hoist the gold. Yeah, Castle so it's Big Rock on the extreme left. On the right, audience, who is the overall leader. Charin is up there in a prominent position as well. Factor Cheval in the pink jacket is over the far side of the course, giving chase to Big Rock. Brave Empress ridden along. Poker faces towards the extreme right with the red sleeve, trying to make progress to Flight Flan and Madge Loom. Heading down below the three marker and audience with Robert Havlin, the near side in the red leading. Factor Cheval with a white face on the extreme left. Big Rock between those. Charin is next. Dulele behind these runners as they head then down towards the last furlong. And still, it's uh, audience being passed by Charin now to Factor Cheval. Docklands running a big race near side. The white sleeves coming home strongly. But Charin and Sylvester D'Souza with a two or three length lead inside the closing stages of the Queen Anne. And he's won well. Charin in the winner, Docklin second, Majloom into third place to Witch Hunter, Audience and Factor Cheval, clear of Dulele and, and also Valiant Force. Big Evs is the nose banded runner on the left, down the centre, leading to Kurdos and Makarova and Seven Questions and Crimson Advocate and Believing behind those. Rogue Lightning, Pura Songe and Emirati Anna in that group, so also is Diligent Harry and Twilight Cause is the back marker of that group on the left who are in front here. Big Evs with a nose band on the left has the advantage to Kurdos and Makarova and then Amaratiana. Near side is but regional trying to get into contention, believing making progress as Fora coming with a strong challenge now. It's Big Evs to As Fora, believing Makarova, regional nearest to us. Here's As Fora the light blue sleeve. She's grabbed the lead from Big Evs and As Fora has gone on to win the King Charles III to regional All Big Evs. By Hans Anderson. Royal Rhyme in a yellow jacket turns on and in third. August Row down the orange and blue, moving comfortably at this stage in fourth. Al Flayla, striped cap, looking for a way out. Lord North in the blue and white is on the move. And now August Rona powers through to tackle Raw Rhyme. Furlong and a half left to go. Horizon Dore from off the pace. Widest of all is being delivered late, but it's August Row down in front as they come inside the furlong. Horizon Dore challenging. Zara Kim in the emerald green trying to thread the eye of the needle. August Row down from Horizon Dore. And Zara Kim, and it's all Gus Rodan who wins the Prince of Wales' stake. Zara Kim was up for second, Horizon Dory, and third close for fourth. Between Rock Hunter ridden over on the far side, shareholder still travels well over there. Saturday flirt is under pressure, and they're inside the final furlong and a half wide apart. Shareholder with the red cap, the far side moving through now to challenge Tropical Storm. Then came the ridden along the man, followed by Whistle Jacket and Asterius. Arizona Blaze trying to chip on in there, but they're racing inside the final half. It is shareholder from Tropical Storm, Arizona Blaze, Whistle Jacket, and Asterius heading up to the line. It's Shareholder to win the Norfolk. Shareholder in front. Shampa, just... taking off, blow the horn out wider, and second last at the moment, Sol Orions with the deuce at the tail for the 600-metre bark, and Pradaria leads them up. Bellagio up a third, Rouge Value the paint, Rosham Park out wide, Justin Palace and Struve's losing ground going back through the pack. They swing for home with Blow the Horn, the widest runner, the Deuce would really need the lift from there. Rouge Avayu, the mayor, is on the inside. Joined by Pradaria and wider out is just in front of Bellagio Opera. Bellagio Opera and wider out. Blow the horn. Might blow them all away. 
Blow the horn goes up and goes on. Blow the horn, Sol Orion's late. Blow the horn will go on and win by a couple. What runs second? Maybe Sol Orion. Junto aos paus em quinto. Tchossiro e Filove em sexto. Seu Joque arrancou o tampão. Ele avança lá por fora. Tenta a quinta. Vão se aproximando da reta final. Xenazen tem cabeça. Olímpico e creme. Ele volta por dentro. Estão emparelhados. Contornam a curva de chegada. E vão entrando pela reta final. Eu quero ver todo mundo de pé. É o Brasil 24. Avança Tchossiro e Filove por fora. Vem tentar a primeira. Olímpico e creme. Antem cabeça e pescoço. E olha lá por dentro. Vai atuando o Pentes com o Opataie, Opataie avança por fora, vem tentar a primeira colocação, lá vem o Opataie, vai tentando e tomando a primeira, Opataie livrou cabeça, pescoço de vantagem, Opataie sacou um corpo inteiro, vai fazendo brilhar a farda do Arante, Rio Açú, Opataie com vantagem, cruzam a faixa. Do clássico Pamplona apareceu Alexandrina em punta, sequela Boudica por dentro, também Master Trinche, por fora lo hace Salma Fessi, muito aberta a Macanuda. En los últimos 300, Boudica alcanzó y dominó. Boudica, medio cuerpo de ventaja. Segunda, Alexandrina. Tercera, abierta, Macanuda. En los últimos 120, Boudica en la punta. Boudica lleva cuerpo y medio. Segunda, Macanuda. En los 20 finales del Pamplona, Boudica, cuerpo y medio. Llegaron. Segunda, Macanuda. Tercera, Salma Fe. Luego, Alexandrina. Master Trinche, Silvi, Raika. Kings Barnes, heads for home on the Foster. Taking charge from first mission, who fights on but is back into second. Pyrenees switched outside from third. Not today for Skippy Longstocking, nor Disarm. Final 16th, it's Kings Barnes bounding past the Twin Spires. Clear by three. Pyrenees runs up into second, but it will be Kings Barnes in the Foster. Scores by nearly three. Pyrenees, Skippy Longstocking, and first mission.